Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Louis here. We are back in Bonn. We were here a few years ago and we are back showing you even more this time. We're going to show you everything there is to do in Bonn, in the old town, but also a little bit outside. So stay tuned and let's get into it. We just arrived in Bonn by train. You are likely to be also arriving by train. There's no airports or big airport in Bern. So the train station is actually pretty conveniently located right in the center of Bern. So we are going to jump right away to the city. Let's go. So right after you exit the main station, you'll be on that street. And if you continue, we'll get to nice parts of Bern. So behind me, there is the Federal Palace. This is our Swiss capital. There's the house and the Senate there. This is where politicians are. We are in the capital city. We are going to visit it. You can do it. You have to reserve quite in advance and there are some different time frames you can visit, but it's nice and you can visit when there are sessions that are happening uh, live with the politicians. And here is Dick Lugge over there. We're in front of the famous clock tower of Bern and a lot of people can check it out because every hour there's cool shows uh, with the clock outside but you can actually go inside and visit so we're going to go inside the tower and show you guys right now. Yeah, it does 20 francs and you have to book it in advance on the Bern website and uh, yeah I'm looking forward because this is really a very special tower. We're going inside. Okay, first floor. This is the oldest part actually. of the visit of that amazing tower this was really really nice i learned a lot actually and there was a mechanism that uh, was unique i think and i uh, i really loved it so now we are going to walk down that beautiful street and arrive at the bears i think look at how cute this street is and this is the einstein house this is where he lived part of uh, his life with a nice view outside as you can see <laughs> as this is here I'm just going to let you know that this is here I'm not going to break the rules so you have the family house and then you have a little video on the top and uh, I'm going to see Alexis and go see the bears but it's, uh, it's a cool house so Louis checked out the Einstein Museum while I fed the baby a bottle and we're walking through the beautiful old town. It's very ornate, yeah. beautiful fountains, decorations have, on the buildings. You have actually some walking tours that are given by the city of Bonn because yep. there's so much history and so many details that we are probably missing. But as we could see was that walking tour. We did the, the clock tower, it was super interesting and really cool yeah. inside and the view was up there amazing. Yeah. So we are walking to see the famous bears. Yeah, and you can see already the green of the rose garden over there. And if you continue this way, you'll go up to the Niedeg bridge and we are going to cross the R river and go hopefully up to see the bears before having a little lunch at the old tram station or the old tram depot which has also actually a very good uh, restaurant and if you are coming here for a few hours this is actually maybe an easy one to reach with a beautiful view so there's a few different competing stories from what we have learned and read online about why there are bears in Bern and why Bern is a city named after bears from Bertolt V through all different kind of old wives tales that have been passed down but whatever the reason there are bears in the city center of Bern so there's like this whole kind of park where you can see the bears it's free they're cute it's fun to look at so let's go check out some bears in Bern let's show you Bern 
Barn is situated on two levels. So from the Bear Park, if you look down right here, you could see the R River. So there's a little elevator slash funicular kind of that can take you down. So let's go check out the river. So if you're not much into hiking, it's a beautiful flat little walk. When you take that funicular down from the Bear Park, you walk along the river, really, really nice. All right, I'm gonna take the little elevator back up and then have lunch. It's really nice inside. You have actually a brewery here. They brew all their beers. Look at this view. I think this is a pretty nice one and you can reserve online pretty Cheers. easily with a view. Look at this view. And I have the Emmentaler Rösti. Alexis has a nice tartar. So we are at the Paul Klee Museum. This is right outside of Bern. You can come here in 15 minutes by bus with the 10 or the 12. They are rotating exhibits. And this is one of my favorite museums in Switzerland. So I want to show you this artist and this exhibit. Let's go. The exhibition is about Miro today, which is also one of our favorite uh, artists. <laughs> For kids a little bit older than our baby, some amazing activities where you can draw and paint was a lot of fun in these huge spaces. And so that can be something fun if you have kids to come and have some paintings. So I'm in front of the Moxie and we really like this hotel because it's really cheap and it's right next to the train station, the Bern Wengdorf, which is actually super well connected to Bern main station. This is three minutes ride. You have trains all the time. So in terms of value, you can really be as quick as like a tram ride to Bern. You have also actually a tram that goes to the Zitglocke directly. But this hotel, I think, is really nice for its location, even if it's outside of Bern a little bit. So this is the Rose Garden. You have the street and then you come up a little bit more and you have that stunning view on Bern. You see the cathedral, you see the, the federal palace, you see that whole beautiful town and uh, you have a restaurant that we are going to and a beautiful sunset hopefully. And this is our restaurant. So the food was amazing in that rose garden. Usually sometimes in view restaurants, the food is not that great, but this one was amazing. Very nice uh, people as well. And look at the view. And you can see and hear the cathedral now. happened to be here on Easter so we went to a mass in the cathedral which was really nice it's beautiful inside they had really really lovely music it was all in German versus Swiss German so Louis and I maybe got 50% of it versus zero <laughs> percent collectively 50% yeah so we got something so now we're gonna get coffee in this little square which has beautiful views overlooking it but I do recommend not necessarily going to a mass but definitely going inside the cathedral it's beautiful it's very beautiful yeah. it's huge really really nice and then right behind it you have this gorgeous square with an awesome view and you can get coffee or snacks something like that so that's what we're going to do now let's go and we have a little cappuccino with a nice view cheers so i was looking forward to going to the top of the cathedral but it is only two people minimum you can't go alone because you are going up and down and it's not supervised so you need to supervise someone else Unfortunately, Alexis is was a stroller, so I'll just show you some footage. But I think it's useful for you guys to know that you need to be at least to be four to go to the top of the cathedral to see the beautiful view. So I'm going to take the elevator again and then have 
a different view than uh, yesterday evening on the R and Bun. We're walking down and seeing some pretty nice houses uh, down here too. And walking for, I don't know, two, three minutes and you see the Niedek Bridge. You can actually take the steps up here or you can continue into the part of the, the city here that is just uh, on the left of the bridge or by the bridge and it's really cute. So you can take the tram 9 to Vabern or you can also go to the train station and take a train to Vabern and then you'll get to the bottom of the Gürten. We are going to Vabern. And you will not <laughs> miss the crowd of people heading to the Funicular station. Two minutes uphill and then you'll be at the Funicular station. So this is the train station and this is the Funicular station. And the cool thing about the Gürtenbahn, that Funicular, is that if you have a burn ticket, so if you have a hotel, you will be allowed to come in for free, which is uh, always a win in uh, Switzerland. <laughs> All right, let's take that Funicular. In our funicular. And here is the view. It's actually pretty cool to have something free like this with the burn ticket of funicular. We're gonna go see all the activities that there is to do in the Gürten. So the toboggan run is from March to October, which is pretty long actually during the year. It's five francs for adults, four francs for kids, and it has a nice view on Bern, and it's always fun to do this, especially unexpected kind of close to your city. So I'm gonna check it out and show you guys. back up that was very fun as uh, as always i really love it i think the gürten is uh is really great as it has like lots of activities and a beautiful view and it's so close to bern that's something not to miss like even if you're here for a weekend for two days i think this is good to do so off the train you have a little place for kids which last time we didn't have one <laughs> but this time we might go enjoy the little model train that you can take with kids. actually the Alps and the Alps view. Come here, look at this. So we are by the R River at the Delholzli Zoo, which is one of the largest in Switzerland actually. And uh, we'll show you what it looks like. nice place to catch a sunset also the rose garden of course is amazing but you have and you can see the colors hopefully i'm not too late on the federal palace they have an amazing terrace there let's see what it gives us in terms of view So we are about 35-40 minutes away from Bern in the beautiful Emmental. You have all these beautiful green hills. It's very, very rural and very beautiful. And you have Kimberley, that is one of my favorite biscuits in Switzerland. And we are going to explore it. So this experience is cool because it's absolutely free and there's aisles and aisles 
of different products to try. And everywhere along the way, you can stop and try and they have these little baskets. And you can try all different treats, cookies, chocolates, different kinds of crackers, savory, sweet. So it's very fun, especially if you're with kids, there's a lot of like interactive things to explore and I'll show you around. Definitely come with an appetite. It all began with a love story. During the stay in the French-speaking part of Switzerland, young... These are very famous and you'll find them everywhere in a cup and this is just delicious. This is butter fruit. You feel the butter, it's just amazing. And now in the sweet section. This is almonds and caramel. Which is where all the children are. You can hear all the kids are in the sweet section. <laughs> oh, the caramel. So I was just saying it's so nice that this is free <laughs> and then that's why, that's how. This yeah. whatever, <laughs> 70 <laughs> francs of cookies we just bought. But we're very happy. So. <laughs> But it feels free. Yeah. It's nice. It's smart. It's very nice. I love that. Yeah, great experience. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. That was a great time in Bonn. I really love this little city. This is our capital city, but uh, it, it feels really cozy. It feels young and it's just beautiful. The old town and also outside. So I really recommend considering it either for one day or a few days or just if you're going to pass through Bern coming back from Interlaken to Zurich for example you can stay for a few hours and see the old town I think this is really worth the stop and uh, yeah I'll see you in the next video but thank you very much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video bye guys hey guys thanks for watching thanks for watching if you want to see more videos like this please make sure to like and subscribe we'll see you soon